If you've been watching Channel 4 here in Port Alberni for the past few days, you'll have seen at least some of what went on here in Council Chambers on Election Night. But you might have noticed that one person was conspicuously absent, new Mayor Mike Rattan. Well, he was at home with his family and supporters waiting for results to come in. We caught up with him with our cameras just a short time later, and after I'd congratulated him on his win, the first question I asked him was why he believed the community became so engaged in this municipal election. I think there was a real interest in changing the way things had been. A real interest in people in this community having a say, having some influence in the outcome. I think there were some things that happened locally that people were uncomfortable with and they wanted an opportunity to influence what the next council was going to look like. I think people in this community really wanted to send a message about some of their discomfort about the direction and the way in which the, the council made decisions. But I don't think it was just here in Port Alberni. I think provincially there's a lot of that and I bet you nationally there's a lot of that. A lot of discomfort with politics generally and the lack of the ability to participate or the perceived ability to participate. I think the election results across Vancouver Island bear out that feeling of general discontent with several incumbent mayors losing out at the polls. Here in Port Alberni, we saw four first-time councillors win seats on council, creating one of the most diverse and inexperienced councils the city has seen in quite a while, and also creating one of the first challenges for the new mayor, how to pull this diverse group together and have them work as a team. My strength is is pulling teams together, helping to establish what the goal of the team is, helping to establish priorities, and sticking with those priorities once they've been, once they've been made. So we make the priorities and we communicate to the people that we're, we're responsible to, which are the citizens of Port Alberni, about the decisions, how the decision, decisions are made, and make sure that people have lots and lots of opportunities to input before that final decision is made input and consultation. It sounds like part of a good plan and it's a plan that will have to be put in place fairly quickly. Some of it even before the new council is sworn in on December 1st. Well this week I'm meeting with various members of city staff and I will first of course meet with the present mayor John Douglas and we have to work on a transition plan. Then I have to spend a bit of time thinking about what are my first responsibilities? What are the what are the committees that need to be filled and who is going to, which one of, which member of the new council is going to be filling which committee. So there's lots to do just in terms of learning the nuts and bolts of the responsibilities and making connections with those people on city staff that I'm going to be working directly with. Now I know the community is going to watch the decisions made by the new mayor and council very closely. High voter turnout, high community engagement means they're going to stay tuned in to the happenings at City Hall. But this is Mike Rattan's first interview on Shaw TV as mayor, so I decided to give him the last word. Mike Rattan, my last question. Four years from today, if we're sitting in this same spot and I ask you what is the one thing that you've accomplished that you're proud of in this term, what will it be? that the economy in Port Alberni is turning around. More people are considering moving here and more people are considering investing in Port Alberni. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay.